Guys, so I'm Jahari from Glamorous Sisters. I'm gonna make this really short because this video is gonna be really long. So, um, I did this pretty, pretty look. I aced the wing. Hopefully, you guys like it. You could wear this to work, to school, to wherever you want to go. Bow lip, nude glam on top for the eyes. Just keep on watching to see how we got this look together. Just remember to like and subscribe so you can see plenty of more. Excuse the noise in the background. So jumping on in, I'm going to be using my Swamp Queen palette right here. This is my go-to palette. You guys already know that. I already primed my eyes with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Yeah. I'm going to have to like get a picture of this so you guys can see what it is. And you guys know I'm going to use my natural peaches. If you guys follow me, you guys know this is my favorite color. That's why it's already at pan. It was the first one. And I just want to cover my eyelids. I'm just lightly dabbing it in. This just makes the um, other eyeshadows just easier to go over the primer. So anyway, moving on, I'm going to use my e.l.f. crease brush. Oops, sorry. And I'm going to go in with my dog man right here. Oh, I said my dog man, I'm sorry. Dog man right here. And I'm just going to apply that right Oh, that's a lot. Into the crease. That's because I didn't put a transition shade. Oh. I didn't put a transition shade. Alright, well, we're going to make this work, guys. Now I have to make this work. Now you're going to see why you need a transition shade. Look look at this. This is way too dark. Way too soon. Could have been buffed this out. If it had a transition shade. Well, now I gotta go dark. Well, maybe I just put... This is why I say less is more. I think I probably just put way too much on the brush because this has not happened to me prior since I've started wearing makeup with the fluffy brush I'm just trying to make this work try to bring it upward to blend it all out Okay, it literally took me like, I'll say like two minutes to get this right here when I put the transition shade versus me doing this right here and having to do all that hard work. So this is the reason why you should put a transition shade. Always. Always. And I forgot. Oh, we all make mistakes. But anyway, moving on. Now I'm moving on to the next. Oh my God, I'm sorry. The glare of that palette in the mirror. Sorry. So I'm going to actually, oh, it's my smaller crease brush. Oh, there it is. So we're going to use this brush right here. And this is also by e.l.f. And I actually am going to use Man Cat right here. A pretty old color right there. And I'm just going to start from the outer corner into the middle of the crease. And just give it more of a shape. And just darken that area. And just kind of only want to darken this V part. And more into that crease. Now I gotta look at my mirror. Sorry. 
All right, so I'm going to try to put the mirror here without glaring it in your face and being able to. And now I'm just going to lightly drag it over here since it already got over here and just try to blend it all in over here. Excuse that, my dogs is probably knocked over my nephew's carriage. Is it his carriage? I don't even know. If or or something, I don't know. All right, so now I'm gonna do this to the other side, and then we're just gonna go on to the next step. And there goes clear again. So hopefully you should have something like this. If if you want. Because I am going to do it. Let me just show you. I'm going to use my fluffy brush that I've been using this whole time with no product on it. And I'm just going to blend this all in. You guys know blending is a factor. So if I don't see it sometimes and you see it's already blended out, I apologize. Just uh, blend it all out. Get that V-shape. Well, I'm trying to get a V-shape up here. If I don't, it's okay. It's trying to come out, but Yeah, maybe I'll just keep it round. I really think it probably will look better round anyway. We'll see how the end of this goes. But anyway, I'll be back. Alright, so this is what you should be having right now. And I kind of want to use this color from my Wet n Wild Trio. Even though it's a brown bone color, but look at that. I mean, come on. I kind of got to give Sippy Sippy and all those other colors in this Swamp Palette a break. I don't want to use them all up like I do natural peaches, so this is what we're going to do. And if anything, my sister would say live dangerous, because I will always use this one right here, because it's the closest to my sassy bun, which is this color right here in the middle. I love that color, but sippy sippy's right here, and I always use these two every day. This was what the two colors I use for my go-to. So you guys know I'm not lying. So this color right here, it's it's something so similar. I'll swatch it for you guys. It's like so beautiful. Oh my god. Look look how nice and bright. Oh, I'm sorry, my lighting's really bad. Let me see if I could make it darker for you. Bam. I just I just like it. It's not the same as my it's not exactly the same, but it's something similar because that is Sassy Bun right here. So it's a little bit more vibrant than this one here. I'm trying to put it in the same lighting so you can kind of see it. See, it's still popping out more than this one. So we're just going to go with a little pop. And I'm going to use that so-called brow bone, which is supposed to be the highlight as the color for the inside of my eyelid. So... I'm going to use my tart brush and dust off. It's actually a nice kind of pickup. It's not a lot of fallout or so far. Let's see. Mm. Hmm, it's coming out so nice. Oh my god, my tick-tocking of my clock is so eerie, it's not even funny. Okay guys, so this is what you should have right now. And I went on and, and did a little wing. And I actually used my e.l.f. But my wand is a little messed up. I don't know if you guys can see that little hair popping out. And it's kind of like... I don't know. It doesn't... It doesn't really do the justice. So I've been trying this 
um, eyeliner brush and again it's from the same uh, little tool thing I got from this collection here I don't again know what brand this is it has no name on it I wish it did but it actually did a nice little wing so I'm kind of proud of this so I'm excited so I'm gonna do that on the other side and then we're gonna do the eyelashes and then we're going to go on to the face so just prepare yourself if you want to do a little wing or an extravagant wing or whichever which way you want but I kind of like this little one because when I do a really long bold one on um, this side it doesn't really come out right so hopefully I actually should have did this on this side but anyway hopefully this comes out the same on this side but we'll see we'll see guys hopefully you guys like it you guys like it I like it already all right go ahead you do it I'll do it we'll be back okay guys so what do you guys think I think it came out pretty good uh, yeah Ooh, I kind of I use this brush once again and I am in love Oh, I, I, I so love it. It's so, it's so precise. Alright, so I already wet my little up and up beauty sponge. And you guys know I do everything backwards, so I'm going to use my MAC concealer to cover up these dark spots right here. So you guys don't see my blackheads. Cubist bow. Hmm. Underneath, because I have a like basically no shape down here. I gotta create it. And on the sides, because I got dark spots on the sides. All right. Now I'm going to blend this all in. And if you guys are new and you don't know why I do this, again, I only do this because I don't want to put too much makeup on. So the less I put on, the better. And I really don't have, like, bad acne scars or anything like that. Uh, so I don't need to color correct. So this matte concealer is, like, my life. Because if I don't want to put foundation on, I just could use this easily. So, yeah. And then, this don't have to be perfect. I'm, that's why you don't see me, like, trying to make sure that's all perfect and everything. Because we're just going to mask it anyway. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right. Now that we're done with that, I am going to use my MAC face and body again this is very light so it's it's not gonna be like that full coverage it's just a very very light formula it but it is a nice coverage to me if again if you want something a little bit more stronger or more full coverage be my guest I don't know why I would start from this side Don't forget your ear. I'm going to go back over with a brush. Hmm. Now I want to be a little bit more precise. Just a little bit. And the less is the best again because this is so light. And I love this up and up. I have not tried the beauty sponge so I can't compare it to that. But... Oh, I do love this. Mm -hmm. You guys are seeing the difference already. Already. And if you can't, I'm sorry. My lighting's bad. But I can notice it. <laughs> my little sideburns, those shits ain't little. Mm. 
and again this just makes it so much smoother for my bags like literally you can still see the indents I can't do nothing about that but at least they don't look so dark all right so maybe my lighting's bad <laughs> but you really can't see them so so much in my opinion from the beginning if you rewind this and see how dark my eyes were till now you're like oh yes that's impressive that's impressive so moving on now to highlight where is my hi oh there it is in my lap oh look you see my strap the whole little time oh sorry guys he just wanted to photo bomb me or video bomb <laughs> anyway so did i even do the under part right here i don't know but i have a little bit left so let's do it anyway Okay, now I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me, and I am in the shade Sands Sable number 20, and I'm just going to do a check mark, just do it, alright, and then again, oh, just do it for me, okay. Give this back, okay. If you guys hear my nephew, I apologize. He's not getting his way. You guys know how babies are. Act like you wasn't one. <laughs> I know I have a big forehead, so I'm just going to put it a little bit right there. Not too much. Not too much. Alright, so. Bam. For there. Because I kind of like my eyebrows. So I don't mind the attention there so I'm just going to blend all this in and then I'll be right back okay now I'm gonna use my wet and wild mattifying powder thingy the reason why you see that brown spot in there is because I by accident one day had uh, I was rushing and I put my up and up beauty sponge in it and it just like kabottled in there so now ugh. Yeah, so that's my story. So, I don't really know how to do too much of this, but I know I don't want this to crease. So, I just put... I fold this, by the way, and I just put it right underneath my eye. And where I would like my highlight to be. So, since I want my highlight right here, or that's where it's supposed to be, I'll put it down right there. This is just like really, really gonna make me look white under here, so I have to make sure. And you make sure while using this, you have something that's closest to your skin complexion to bring it back to color. Cause, oof, girl, you're gonna be looking like a zombie. Mm hmm. Under here, too. All right, all right. Now that we're done, oh, I didn't put this in. Sorry. All right. Now that we're done with that, again, going back to using that color. Now that I have the shade to light palette, I actually have a color that's similar, like not similar, but closest to mine. I can use this color and this color together, and. I'm going to use this brush. only reason why I'm using this is supposed to be this foundation brush. I feel like this works better for me. That's for me. If you want, you can use a powder brush as so. But since this makes me look really, really white, I kind of want to just dust it all off. Like, what one? Oh, you saw that dust. Sorry. What one of those? Whoosh. Oh, you just saw my eye. Sorry. See, it gives me some type of color versus it being so white. Color back a little bit. White. Color back a little bit. Just a little bit. Don't worry, guys. I didn't forget to do my under eyes. We are going to do it right after we do the face.
color is trying to seep back. I think I left this side a little too long. All right. And there we have it. Yay. I'm trying to learn how to bake, I guess. Uh, because I don't know how to bake, so the reason why I went like that is because that was probably not even baking, because you're supposed to probably let it sit. But yeah, kind of don't have that kind of luxury of time. So, uh, moving on, now that we did all that lovely stuff with the foundation and all that, I do. Two seconds. Alright, I do want to use my butter bronzer. I know it's a bronzer, but I it's it's just a beautiful color, and I love how it feels on my skin. So I just set the rest of my face with this powder. I don't I know I know it's not even a setting powder or anything like that. It's not supposed to. It's not made for that. But I love how it just gives me that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color, and it just brings it all together. I even sometimes use it after I do my whole contour or bronze, whatever I would like to do. And moving back on to my Kat Von D palette, I am going to use this color right here with this color in the middle. Not too much of the color at the end, more of the one in the middle. Just as so. Not too much, not too much. Sucking my cheeks. I think it was a little too high. Oh yeah, too high. I'm gonna reverse it. And bring it up, because I have the big ass sideburns. Bring it up here to shade it in. Up more to my temple area. Alright, and you guys know how to contour. I just wanted to show you how I do one side. And if you haven't seen my power challenge, power of makeup challenge, there you go. If I can speak right, uh, you already know how I do one side of my face. But I'm going to continue finishing on my contour. And then we're just going to do the bottom of the eyes. So put your, finish your face up to the bottom part of your eye. And then we'll be right back. By the way. I like to, before I put my highlighter, I like to use this apricot color with this medium color right here. It's not even medium. It's like a yellowish. I mix those two and I kind of like put it right here on the top. So when I, wherever I put like my most highlighted shimmery stuff, just to make it pop a little bit more. Ever since I started doing this, I've gotten so many compliments on my highlighter. I was like, damn, my highlighting skills is on point. But then I had to just remind myself, it's the product, not me. All right. So yeah, I just wanted to add that part in. So yeah, continue doing your face and we'll be right back. All right, using Dogman. I'm oh, sorry for you guys got to see a little glimpse of how dirty this mirror is. But yeah, okay. So using Dogman and a little bit of Sippy Sippy, you know I can't live without it. It's the one right underneath. I'm going to just edge out right here. And we're just going halfway. Alright, you guys already know how I do this, so I don't even have to explain it to you guys. But those for you who are new, I only go halfway. Like everybody else does when they use a darker liner for the under part.
Oh, that's a little pretty thick, but I'll fix that anyway if anything. Or maybe I'll just leave it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel like. All right, now using the same. Where is my brush? Where is my tart brush? But I mean, let me find it. I'll be right back. Found it. And using that same color that we used from the Wet n Wild palette. By the way, if I didn't say the name, and I bet I didn't, it's from the palette of I'm Getting Sunburned. Yay! Why not? Summer's over. And. Nine times out of ten, whoever was at the beach all the time, or didn't use no sunscreen, probably got a sunburn. Hmm. I'm really liking how this is coming out. Alright, now you guys hear my dogs. All right, now, just with a clean one, because I didn't use this one, I'm just going to smudge in the middle. I don't know why I love doing this half and half, but it just makes me feel like I have a more art to play with, I guess. It's just like... I am. Look how pretty I am. Look how wide I am. They kind of like animated wide eyes. I already have big eyes, so why not play with the big eyes? Like, bam. Now I'm all animated. And now, since I don't want to make it any wider than what it is, I am going to use a black eyeliner. So if I can find my Wet n Wild black eyeliner, it might be in here. No. Yes. All right. And my sharpener is right here. See, I prepared myself for this because I knew I would have to sharpen my pencil. So yeah, put that right there. And now, where is my beauty sponge? Okay. Kind of like trying to make it really thin right there and then really. Like smudge it in over there. So it kind of like brings that effect to what we did over here. Hmm. I like it. I like it a lot. This side always gives me problems, so. Hmm. I'm already nervous. Hmm. And bam. All right. So that will be the bottom. All you have to do is just now apply your mascara, whichever one you prefer. I've been, you guys already know, so I don't have to say it, but I will anyway. What and wow, mega lens. These right here. This little tool. Should have freaking. Oh, I just messed that up. Freakazoid. No worries. Eyeshadow to the rescue. Oh, wrong spot. Alright. Now let's just fix that little mistake. So I'm just dab I just dabbed it in a little bit. 
And while I did that, I kind of messed up my, where's my eyeliner? The eyeliner? Okay. And now, I'm going to use that palette again with my tart brush and fix it. It's like what's done is done, that's it. My eyes are like this was not supposed to go so well. Uh so any one one, two I think I went like two mistakes today. I didn't do a transition shade and I messed that up. But at least I got a wing down packed. Yay! So now I'm just gonna do the lips, put my setting spray on, and we'll be done with this look. So give me two minutes. I am indecisive if I want to use which cat bond Z. Will it be exorcism or Lolita? Or both. Since I have all kind of ombres going on over here, might as well just put it on the, on the lips too. Or do I just want to leave it all for the eyes, Lolita? Or do I just want the whole dramatic effect? Exorcism. Or the, again, ombre. I don't know. You guys will see at the ending. We'll see. I really forgot to do the highlighter with you guys. So, you guys know I'm in love with the highlighter in this contour palette from Grand. From Black Radiance. I'm going to say Grand. Because there's that grand of a product. And this is the color right here. It is a beautiful, beautiful. It's like a bronzy, coppery, gold. It's just life. And I just slap it right up here because I like to shine. Because I have to talk to a lot of people. So they see me in a lot of angles. So they have to see me shine in all angles. Why not? Why not? Why well, just see me glow in one little portrait angle? You can see me shine on a profile in style. Nah, <laughs> keep it spelled. I only put it like right there when I'm doing a keep it spelled. I don't put it all on it. Again, I have to invest in a kabuki, uh, kabuki brush. And then also a fan brush. All right. Now, I have decided where I put them. Where did I put them? That I am going to use Exorcism. So, yes. Here we go. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be right back. Alright, to conclude this whole look, I am going to use Gator Wings. That is the highlight in the Swamp Queen palette. And I'm going to use my small elf blending brush for the crease, but I'm going to just use it to apply my highlight right in the indent that I got right there. I think everybody got that dot, but it's like really indented for me, so. It's like I can literally just stick anything right there. Alright, and for the top of my highlighter, we're going to use that beautiful. I, I just can't get enough of this highlighter. I'm just going to use, no, I'm going to use my fluffy brush, why not? And just use that highlighter just all over, all over. Hmm. It's such a beautiful color. Hmm. And then I could just go back in. 
of the Swamp Queen palette and use either Man Cat or Dog Man. Let's just refix that. If I went over anything, but this is so beautiful. Such a beautiful color. Alright. Clean that off real quick. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I'm just going to have to clean this off. And I am going to use a little bit of Dogman. Just very little. Because I kind of went a little happy with my... One beautiful highlight. And as you can see, I'm not going in the crease. I'm just staying right above it. All right. Now to finish it off. As you can see, this is a very, very well-loved bottle of my Max Fix Plus. As you can see why, because it's just so hydrating, it just feels so good, it mattifies everything. Oh. Basically, I just woke up like this, if that's the case, the way I feel with this. Oh man. Yes, I just threw it. I love it that much to throw it. Well guys, this is the final look. Put earrings on, usually I will put my earrings on. My sideburns will be all the way up there. If I can get them to stay. But yeah, my fake little curls it took me forever to get them this way. My hair is just naturally thin and wavy, so yeah. Well, thank you guys for staying with me to see this beautiful look that we created together. I can't talk today. Goodness. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys like it. This is a really nice little work look, glam look. Or if you're just going on a little dinner date, a little lunch date. Or if you're just going to town with your friends. It doesn't matter. This little nice little wing. Hopefully you guys like my wing. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Yay. And um, yeah, I'm very proud of my success on that wing. I am very, very proud of this look. So if you guys want to see more looks like this, or if you want me to darken it up, glam it up. I uh, haven't really tried my falsies lately since like my future ones when I first started these videos um they kind of scaring me because I can't get the hang of it but I am trying as you can see this is the one I've been trying to use I'm sorry it's just all over the place uh but again I am trying so thank you again please like and subscribe your support is well needed as always keep on shining and we love you guys bye